NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, who were stranded at the International Space Station for the past nine months, have finally begun their journey to Earth. The undocking of the Crew-10 mission's Dragon spacecraft was completed on Tuesday. The Indian origin astronaut and Wilmore, along with another American astronaut Nick Haig and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov will touch down the coast of Florida at 3.27 a.m. Indian Standard Time on the 19th of March. Their entire journey will be around 17 hours. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that is NASA, and SPACE's Crew-10 mission was launched earlier this month to bring back the stranded astronauts. Falcon 9 rocket carrying a Dragon spacecraft and the Crew-10 mission lifted off on 10th of March from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Four astronauts boarded the Dragon spacecraft. They are NASA astronauts Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Takuya Onishi and Roscosmos cosmonaut Kirill Peskov. Notably, the Dragon spacecraft reached the International Space Station on Sunday. Williams and Wilmore will return to Earth after spending almost nine months on the International Space Station. On Sunday, NASA in a statement said that it had moved towards the astronauts' anticipated ocean splashdown off the Florida coast to nearly 5.57 p.m. on Tuesday. The NASA astronauts reached the International Space Station in June last year after the Boeing Skyliner spacecraft that they were testing on, its maiden crewed voyage, suffered propulsion issues and was deemed unfit to fly back to Earth. NASA said in a statement that it will provide live coverage of the agency's SpaceX Crew-9 return to Earth from the International Space Station. Astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore have spent an extended period in space conducting scientific research and testing space systems. However, returning to Earth presents unique challenges, especially when it comes to health. The human body undergoes several changes in microgravity and readjusting to Earth's gravity can be difficult. Here are some of the key health challenges that they may face upon their return. The first is muscle and bone loss. Living in a microgravity environment leads to muscle atrophy and bone density loss. Since astronauts do not use their muscles in the same way as they do on Earth, their strength decreases over time. Despite regular exercise in space, they may experience weakness and may require rehabilitation to regain full strength. Balance and coordination issues. After months in space, the body's vestibular system, which controls balance and movement, gets used to microgravity. Upon returning to Earth, astronauts might struggle with dizziness, disorientation and difficulty in walking. Their brains must readjust to Earth's gravitational pull, which can take days or even weeks. Cardiovascular changes. In space, fluids in the body shift upwards, causing changes in blood circulation. As a result, astronauts may experience low blood pressure and dizziness when they stand up on Earth. This condition, known as orthostatic intolerance, requires medical monitoring and adaptation exercises. Vision problems. Some astronauts experience changes in their eyesight due to fluid buildup in the skull, which affects the shape of the eye. This condition, known as space flight associated neuroocular syndrome, can cause blurry vision and may require further medical evaluation. Psychological readjustment. Living in the confined and isolated environment of space can have psychological effects. Readjusting to Earth's fast-paced life, crowded environments and everyday stressors can be challenging. Astronauts often undergo psychological counseling to help with this transition. Returning to Earth is not just landing safely, it is also about overcoming the physical and mental challenges that come with the prolonged space travel. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will undergo thorough medical evaluations and rehabilitation to ensure a smooth recovery. Their experiences will continue to provide valuable insights for future space missions and long-term effects of human spaceflight.